So, like, for instance, um, we just talked about, um, can you talk about how you actually met, for instance, one of the founders of Lyft or Twilio, or we had talked about eShares before we started recording. Um, can you talk about kind of what the process was um, from meeting the founder to you deciding to invest to how you've interacted with them um, moving forward? Um, sure, let me give you, I'll, I'll pick two out of those to give you an example. So in the case of Lyft, um, I met Logan and John when they was, when the company was still called Zimride. Mm -hmm. um, it was about two or three weeks after they had moved uh, to Palo Alto. <laughs> um, and um, and I, I ran into them at an event. I, I talked to them. I, I really liked the two of them. I felt that there was something interesting in the transportation space. Um, and so we started talking about investing, but we actually didn't reach an agreement on terms. Um, right. And so I didn't invest at that time, and I just told them, like, hey, guys, you know what? Let's just stay in touch. If I can be helpful, let me know, um, and, and then we'll just kind of pick up later. And they, they stayed in touch. Like, they had questions. They reached out. I went over to their apartment at that time. It was an apartment turned into an office um, <laughs> and, uh, and I met with them several times over there. Um, and yeah, so, and then when it came time for them to, to do their next round, now it was at a valuation that actually made sense. And so I, I actually participated in their seed round. Um, and, and then um, Anne Murico from, uh, from Floodgate was the lead investor. Uh, so she was on the board and I was a, an observer on the board. So Anne and I and Logan and John, there would be the four of us meeting for their board meetings. Um, and in fact, if I remember at their first board meeting, uh, this is when icing was a thing. I don't know if you would remember this. Mm -hmm. this Smurn off ice and you had to chug this bottle of <laughs> alcohol. Um, and so, yeah, so they iced their board members at their first board meeting. And somewhere on the internet, there's some pictures floating around of me chugging this bottle of Smurn off ice. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, but uh, I was uh, I worked actively with them uh, from the seed round to the Series A. I introduced them to uh, to Mayfield. Uh, that's how Mayfield came in for the Series A. Uh, then Founders Fund did the Series B. Um, and when they did the Series B, I'd actually offered to kind of roll off the board mm -hmm. um, as an observer. But um, they they asked me to stick around, and so I stuck around for one more stage of financing, and eventually kind of uh, pulled back when they did the Series C within reason. Um, so that was on the Lyft side. I'll give a quick recap on the eShares side. eShares is actually very unique uh, because it, this was something that I wanted to see built. Um, mm -hmm. It was an idea that I was like sitting on for many years. And um, Henry and I met and I had agreed to invest in his, comp his first company. Mm -hmm. um, that investment never happened. And so then I actually pitched him on like, hey, would you want to start eShares with me? Um, and so that's how eShares came around, and that's truly a case of um, of the uh, of kind of being almost inception stage um, rather than even seed stage uh, with the eShares. Wow. So, what was it about Henry when you met him that made you decide that you actually wanted to work with him? So it's funny. I actually met Henry at a uh, he was at a pitch presentation that he was doing at uh, at Oric. And, um, and even he tells the same story that I don't know what was, what got into me that day that he was presenting and I was just heckling him. Um, and I was asking him all kinds of crazy questions and he's like sitting over there thinking like, who's this asshole who's just like <laughs> interrupting me and asking me questions. Um, and at the end of the session, I actually, like he handled himself really well. Like he had good thoughtful answers and I felt like this was somebody who was just a capable person who was, who was like very willing to admit like what he, what he knew and what he didn't know and willing to learn. Um, and so I ended up going up to him at the end of the session and giving him my card and saying like, hey, I would love to chat more. Um, and so that's how he and I originally connected. So, so it was kind of he passed your hazing process? Uh, yeah, well, most he passed my hazing process would be a good way of describing it. <laughs> <laughs> It's fantastic. 